Welcome back to my channel. So we have this uh, white woman. She brings this uh, black history that didn't sit well with everybody. Well, including me. It will include you after you listen to this. Uh, so let's get into it and then we're going to talk. Repercussions of slavery. I can go back generations. No slaves. Granted, when we first got here, yeah. Yeah. But we, my family understood. It's bad. Matter of fact, my family fought and died in the Civil War. Yeah, I know you're probably happy about that. But anyways, um... Should we hold black people, you know, you, should you suffer the repercussions of slavery? Or did you forget that black people in Africa actually sold other tribes, other black people to the white people and the Hispanic people? Yes, and the Hispanic people. Because the majority of slaves that were taken out of Africa actually went to South America, not to North America. So are you going to hold um, South America responsible for the, reper you know, have them suffer the repercussions of slavery? Because they actually ended it long after we did, like I said in my other videos. I don't see that happening. I don't see you calling them out. Um, what about the Native Americans? Because they own slaves too. Some of them actually even wanted to fight on the side of the Confederacy to keep it going. I don't see you calling them out either. Should, should the Native Americans suffer the repercussions of, of slavery? Huh? What about black people here in the United States that owned slaves? So y'all want to romanticize it and think that they only owned them in order to free their fellow, their, their family members. That's not entirely true. There were ones that actually wanted to fight on the side of the Confederacy also to keep slavery going. So should I hold you responsible for those, and, and you, should you suffer the repercussions of, of of them enslaving black people? Hmm? Y'all want to talk about slavery, but you don't want to hear the truth about it. You only want to hear the parts you want. And that's not including all of the slavery that's happened all over the world. You want to talk about slavery, but you only want to talk about one version. One, one little version and I don't mean little Durant and in a bad way. It was a horrible thing and, and millions of people suffered. And I'm glad my family fought on the side that helped to free them. Because slavery is wrong, no matter who does it. Have a good day. Okay, so this video got stitched. I mean, this isn't something to ignore. So I gathered a few video, very educational videos for you guys. I want you guys to watch, uh, listen, and give your own thoughts in the comment section below. I will give my own uh, history <laughs> thoughts at the end of this video. So let's get into the stitches. You know, you, should you suffer the repercussions of slavery? Hi, you don't know me, but I'm going to be as respectful as possible with this. Black people in every way, still suffer from the effects of slavery. The Willie Lynch letters, everything that's taken place in the black community right now, the fighting against each other, was psychological warfare that you can date back to enslavement when they put light skin versus dark skin, when they put the house versus the field slave, when they had brother against brother, uh, when they would make you fight to the death or they would rape your family or they would do even worse things than that. It was about mind control if you control the mind you can control the narrative and generational mind control has had a very deep and lasting effect on the black community and it was by the design of a white supremacist structure education we all know that the enslaved were denied education they weren't allowed to read write math none of that then when they finally got free their education was so severely underfunded and is still so severely underfunded that they still lack in education, thanks to white supremacy. Redlining, the Homestead Act, all the massacres, all the bombings that took place. Do you know how many successful, thriving black communities could be here today if white supremacists did not burn them down and bomb them? Do you know the effect that that could have on the black community when it comes to resources and success today? But that was all literally blown away. It's taken from them. Their communities are still highly over-policed. Modern day slave patrol, black bodies are murdered every single fucking day in this country. And a perfect example, Samir Rice, tell me what he did wrong. Elijah McLean, tell me what he did wrong. Why did he deserve to die? Ralph Yarl, 
What did he do wrong? Why did he deserve to be shot? And so many, 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 many more. Even in the entertainment industry, black entertainers get a percentage of what white entertainers get and black female entertainers are even more underpaid. No, I'm not talking about Jay-Z and Beyonce, so. Why was the government's response to the Black Panthers and an elevation in the black community COINTELPRO? Why did they feel the need to flood the black community with crack and then create a war on drugs to therefore lock them up? Why is it that hundreds of thousands more white people get arrested every year, but far more black people are convicted? We live in a very racist society. You can deny it and justify it all you want. Your white privilege is what allows you to be comfortable in your white ignorance. Go live with me. Let's talk. The Hispanic people, yes. To be clear, enslaved Africans were sold to white people in North America and white people in Latin America. I feel like this creator is saying and Hispanic people because she wants us to imagine that enslaved Africans were sold to Latin Americans. But while the British were colonizing the United States, Spain and Portugal were colonizing Latin America. And of the four million enslaved Africans that went to South America, three and a half million went to Brazil, which was colonized by the Portuguese, who are white and not even Hispanic. But while she's going on about the history of everybody who was in involved in the transatlantic slave trade. She keeps saying the word repercussions, but seems to miss that the conversation is about repercussions. It is about the ongoing disparate treatment that black people receive in the United States to this day. And it doesn't matter how much history you use to deflect from that, the problem exists here today. Um, should we hold black people, you know, you? Normally I would just scroll by this, but it has been a shitty fucking day so welcome to the thunderdome so to speak can we talk about the repercussions after slavery ended and how your relatives your ancestors benefited still from the enslavement of black people there were laws enacted in a lot of states to keep black people from owning land and forcing them to be sharecroppers so they still had to work in poverty and in conditions for white people. It's called sharecropping, I'm sorry. For white people to benefit off their labor still being paid a pittance. How about the fact that those who owned slaves were reimbursed by insurance companies? Question, did you have any, did any of your ancestors get reimbursed? I don't know, but maybe you wouldn't look it up. I am so sick and tired of you running from your history. I know mine. My mama's side came from free black slaves. They came over here in the 17th century. That's how far back my mama's side goes. My daddy's side, that's different. They labored on plantations. And supposedly in my family, we are part Lumbee Indian. So there was a mixture there. At least according to my grandmama's words in the letter that she wrote me about her mother and how her mother and her husband met. And guess what? They still were the sharecroppers. Okay. Your ancestors benefited from white supremacy. They were allowed to get jobs. They may have been poor folk, they might have been white, but they had a better shot at getting a job than a black person. They were able to vote, especially if they were men. They had privileges that you still benefit from in 2023. So before you get on your high horse about the effects of slavery and who owned what, why don't you look in your history? Dig deep in that closet and see what you can find. Maybe one of them strung up a Negro. Maybe there is a chair somewhere in your house with the hair of a slave or a Native American.
Okay, so let's get into this. Uh, first of all, uh, this lady's view of black history is uh, very weird. It's a strange one. And second of all, it is very important to recognize that the African continent is made up of different ethnic groups uh, with their own uh, distinct uh, culture and uh, traditions. Not all Africans uh, were complicit in the slave trade. By the way, by the way, many actively resisted it. In fact, there were uh, numerous African societies and kingdoms that were known for their resistance to resistance to European uh, slave trade uh, such as the Ashanti now you know where the name Ashanti comes from and uh, West Africa and the Bakongo Kingdom in the Central Africa. European slave traders uh, used a variety of uh, violent tactics to obtain enslaved uh, Africans uh, including raiding African villages, kidnapping people from their homes and exploiting existing uh, conflicts between African uh, societies and okay now let's talk about uh, North America. In North America, sl slaves were treated as property, forced to work uh, long hours in plantations, in factories, and subjected to brutal punishment if they didn't obey their masters despite the civil war and the abolition of uh, slavery. Jim Crow laws enforced uh, segregation and discrimination against African Americans for decades, leading to further inequality and oppression. Okay, now let's talk about the Latin America. The situation there was uh, not much different. Uh, let's say the black yamento or the whitening of black slaves and indigenous population aim to erase their culture identities and uh, assimilate them uh, into a dominant uh, white culture. Ooh. The social and economic differences uh, created by the systemic racism can still be seen today with uh, marginalist uh, communities facing poverty, violence and uh, discrimination. The vast majority of the wealth generated by the sl slave trades float into the hands of the European slave traders and American uh, plantation owners. In the United States, they, in the United States, uh, they created the one-drop rule. In Latin America, they created the system of races. So please stop trying to change history for your own narratives. We have books. We have history studies. And Google is free. There's no need to lie. Guys, that's all I had for you guys in today's video. I said guys twice. Yeah, please subscribe to this channel. If you have not subscribed, uh, turn on the notification bell and I will definitely see you in my next video. Peace.